Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. If we haven't met before, my name is Rachel. Today we're doing a nice full body yoga for flexibility practice. I am going to be using a strap today, so I encourage you to find something like a scarf, a long sock, a belt, a tie, um, anything that can make your arms nice and long today would be great. You're gonna need just a little bit of space to move, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do and let's get started. So let's begin today in a nice comfy seat. If you want to sit on something, a cushion or a block of some kind, feel free to do so. I want you to be able to have a nice long spine and also be comfortable. So resting your hands on your knees, ah, close your eyes, take a nice big breath in and out and then slowly start to let your chin just fall towards your collarbone bring some length into the back of the neck softening through the jaw let's take another inhale and just lengthen the spine a little bit more and exhale let your head be heavy I'm just taking these next few moments to settle in and start to connect with your breath. Slowing things down. And with an inhale, we're just going to roll our head over towards the right shoulder. Just going until you start to feel the length through the side of your neck and maybe you have some space to lengthen through the spine a little bit more. And just pausing here. Just letting go of your day. Noticing if there are any thoughts on your mind you could set to the side. How does your neck feel so far? Let's stay for an inhale. And then use the exhale to let the chin roll back down. And inhale as you roll your head over towards the other shoulder, maybe lengthening the spine along the way. And just kind of move the head over to that left side until you start to feel the length through the neck. Awesome, you guys. Staying for an inhale. And use the exhale to let the chin fall back down. Pause here for a breath. And then when you're ready, using an inhale to lift your head back up. And just stay here for a breath. Eyes closed, shoulders soft. Awesome, you guys. And you can slowly start to open up your eyes. Funny how one breath turns into three. <laughs> open up your eyes and find your strap if you have got something to use today. Of course, if you have nothing at all, that's completely fine as well. I'm gonna get a little creative with our strap today. So, we're gonna take our left hand and bring it to the floor and your strap or your scarf is gonna be in that left hand. I want you to start to reach the right arm up above your head towards the ceiling so you can kind of adjust where this strap is. We're gonna to start to find some length through the right side of the body and our arms are kind of out long. So the left hand's gonna be down on the floor 
and the right arm is reaching up and you're gonna have to adjust gently push into that left hand find the length through the side body through that right arm and maybe you can look up open the chest and again you might need to shorten your strap and lean a little bit more to that left side to feel that shoulder the length through all the way from that hip up the oblique to your fingertips and if you don't have a strap to use today that's fine it just looks the exact same except you're not holding on to anything nice you guys so take a moment this is a little bit different i want you to feel the nice stretch though so make any adjustments you need. If you do have a strap, almost gently pulling the strap up towards the ceiling. Kind of engages the arm a little bit. Might deepen the stretch. And if it's too much on the neck to look up, just relax. Look wherever you want to look. And then we're just going to start to release and lift all the way back up into a nice long spine. Take a second, maybe shake it out a little bit. So that was a really nice stretch for the neck when I was looking up. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> it was also a nice stretch for the shoulder and the oblique. So we're gonna set this up again. The right hand's gonna come towards the floor, ideally resting on the floor. And then you're just gonna reach up above your head. So maybe your strap isn't that long, and you kind of have to experiment or maybe you find that it's best not to use anything at all but just play around till you feel something that you like pushing into the right hand a little bit helps to create the length almost like the shoulder wants to lift up towards the ceiling and look up look down look somewhere in between Just notice where you feel this and if you need to make any adjustments here for just a few more breaths. Maybe gently pulling your strap up towards the ceiling. Again, my shoulder likes that, but maybe yours doesn't. Awesome, you guys. Using an inhale, start to release and lift your upper body all the way back up and kind of shimmy and wiggle around a little bit if you were feeling that through the neck just maybe turn your chin side to side a little bit shake it out a little awesome you guys so if you've got a strap this one will make a little bit more sense if you don't have strap it's completely fine you're gonna do the same thing but you're gonna kind of hold on to your strap about shoulder width apart maybe a little bit wider and once you lift your arms up above your head, you can adjust the distance that you're that uh, you're hanging onto your strap to find what works for you. But I want you to think about bringing the hands behind your head and just kind of opening up through the shoulders. So this one works a little bit better if you have a strap, something to hold on to. If you don't, though, just kind of lift the arms, bring them behind the head as best you can. You might want to lift the chin. And I'm gently kind of hanging on to my strap like I want to pull it apart just ever so gracefully. But again, my shoulders like that little bit of effort. So maybe yours don't. Let's stay for an inhale. And then use the exhale to release your arms all the way back down to your sides to your lap if you've got your strap just place it off to the side take a little shoulder wiggle a shoulder roll if you want it ah, awesome you guys we are going to be coming into butterfly next so just bring the soles of your feet together your knees out nice and wide take an inhale lengthen through your spine maybe wiggle your toes a little bit you can stay sitting nice and tall you might feel the love through the hips already without adding a tip forwards but if it feels right 
Just let your upper body tip forwards. Resist the urge to pull yourself down, hanging onto those feet. Just let the upper body tip forwards a little or a lot, but just all on its own. Awesome, you guys, with an inhale, we're just gonna start to lift ourselves, our upper bodies all the way back up. Bring your hands to your knees and help them come back together, giving yourself a little hug. Rock it out side to side. We're gonna find our straps again and lay all the way down onto our backs. <clears throat> so come on down. Our right foot is going to be lifting up into the air, getting into our hamstring. If you don't have a strap, just hang on to the back of your leg and flex your foot. If you've got a strap, you can place it right under your toes on the ball of your foot and sending that right leg up into the air. So if you feel the stretch through the back of your leg already, awesome. If you need to play with it, you might need to bend the knee, straighten the leg, kind of move it a little bit to find that sweet spot where you're getting an awesome stretch. And if you want a little more, you could send the left leg out long as well. Awesome, you guys. We're gonna stay here a little longer. The option to add a twist. So if you do have your left leg out long already, great. If not, you can start to straighten it now. You could also skip the twist and stay here. But I'm gonna move my strap, both sides of it into my left hand, kind of hanging on as close to my foot as I can without too much effort. And then I'm just gonna let my foot fall across my body so you could keep the right hip down and just let the foot fall to the left a little bit. Or you can let the right hip lift and come into a nice big twist here. But instead of just letting this, this right leg just hang out, gently encourage your toes up towards the top of your mat. Your foot's probably hovering above the floor. Keeping that right shoulder down, feeling this all through the outside of this right leg a twist through the spine. Awesome, you guys, and using an inhale, we're gonna lift that right leg all the way back up towards the ceiling, grab onto your strap again, find that hamstring. Maybe pulling your toes a little closer towards your forehead and then slowly release. Take your strap off your foot. Bring your right foot down to the floor. Take a moment. We are just gonna be switching sides. So no rush, but when you want it, when you're ready, you can lift the left leg, place your strap on the ball of your foot or just hang onto the back of your leg. Finding that sweet spot where you get that awesome stretch. Maybe encouraging your low back into the floor a little extra. The option to straighten the right leg now or later. And just take a breath. And then another. And if you did want that twist, we can start to set it up now. So maybe straighten the right leg. Maybe move your strap into your right hand. Deciding if you want the left hip to stay down or let it lift. But the right foot just kind of tipping across the body. Gently encouraging the toes towards the top of your mats.
Awesome, you guys, using an inhale. Let's lift the left leg back up. Find your hamstring one more time. Oh, relax through the shoulders. And then slowly starting to release. Let go. Place your strap off to the side. Walk your feet in. Maybe rock it out a little to massage your low back. And when you're feeling good, we're going to just start to make our way all the way up onto our hands and knees. So into tabletop. <clears throat> And just bringing your knees together, your feet together as well. We're going to tuck our toes under and find a toe squat. So feeling the length through each and every toe, through the bottom of the feet, into the ankles. You can keep your hands on the mats. Or you can sit back on your heels. But relax the shoulders. Find your breath. Hmm. Not here very long. So just smile and enjoy it. <laughs> hmm. Awesome, you guys. When you're ready, you can bring your hands back down. If you did lift them up, untuck the toes, give them a little love tap. A little love tap. And then we're just going to sit back on the heels. So if this is not comfortable to sit like this, you can actually sit cross-legged. But we're going to stretch our wrists, our fingers, our forearms a little bit. And we're just going to take the palms and shine them forward, spreading your fingers nice and wide. Spread all your fingers nice and wide. But just the four of them are probably touching the floor and the thumbs are out to the side. So you might even be lifting the, the hips off the heels or you might just relax it down, the hips down. Just kind of gently push the fingertips into the floor to feel a stretch through the palms, through the fingers. Nice, you guys. And if you like this you could stay there i'm just going to lift my hips off my heels a little bit and actually bring my palms down to the floor so i'm still spreading my fingers wide but now my palms are touching the floor might still be just the fingertips for you and i lifted my hips but i'm going to think about actually bringing them back down and they might not come all the way back down because that's going to deepen the forearm, the wrist stretch. So be nice and gentle. Awesome, you guys. If your hips are down, you could start to lift them up so that you can easily let your hands come out of the stretch. Maybe add a couple wrist circles, just kind of loosen things up again. Hmm. Awesome, you guys. And if you are sitting down, I'm going to get you to just come back onto your hands and knees into your tabletop. So we're going to reach our arms out in front. I do want to do one more shoulder stretch because I need it. <laughs> and you probably do too. So reach your arms out in front nice and far for your puppy dog. Start to drop your forehead, drop your chest, keep your hips high, and then really soften your shoulders. And for those of you that have your chest down on your mat, you could rest your chin and actually look towards your fingertips. You might get an added stretch for the front of the neck.
awesome, you guys. With an inhale, slowly start to lift your forehead, lift your chest, walk your hands back in under your shoulders. You can start to cross your ankles. We're gonna have a seat. So just a nice comfy seat, <laughs> nothing fancy. But placing your hands on your knees, take an inhale, lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, turning your chest over to the right side for a twist, you might take your left hand and bring it to your right knee. Your right fingertips might be on the floor behind you. Just take another inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hold that twist. And using an inhale, let's turn the chest back to face the front. Just reset, maybe add a shoulder roll. And then with an inhale, lengthen. And exhale, turn the chest to the left. Maybe your hand. Maybe your right hand can't find your left knee, but it can just rest in your lap. <sighs> Sit tall, enjoy the twist. Awesome, you guys, with an inhale. Let's come back to face the front. We're gonna interlace our fingers in front of the chest. Push your palms forwards. I want you to start to round your upper back. Pull the shoulders forwards. Open up through the shoulder blades. Bringing your chin towards your collarbone. And then if it feels good to do so, you're gonna keep pushing your palms away, but you're actually gonna lower your hands down towards the floor in front of you. They do not have to touch the floor. Just keep pushing the palms. How those shoulders feel the upper back. Keep the chin tucking towards the collarbone as you inhale, lift your hands back up to about shoulder height. And exhale, maybe let them fall back down. Just keep pushing the palms away. How those shoulder blades feel. Inhale, lift the hands. And then as you exhale, just relax. Find a nice long spine. Ah, so good. Awesome, you guys. Maybe sneak in one last shoulder roll. That is it. That is all for today. I hope that you enjoyed the practice. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Ah, thank you so much for being here. Until next time, namaste.